hello beautiful viewers welcome to my channel this is naked beauty empire my name is blessing daniel that nigeria woman that likes to play around her makeup and still get a gorgeous look yes if you are new here you are highly welcome and remember to subscribe share like and comment if you are a returning subscriber i am happy you are here again keep watching and remain blessed i like to freestyle my makeup process but if you watch me you will learn so let's go watch me transform this my face to that gorgeous look at the end of the makeup so stay glued let's go guys i'm a low cut so first thing i did here is to put on my wig cap you can see the lush hair wig cap is a, pa a package i got from my lush attachment so i'm using it to cover my hair here before i start my makeup this tutorial here you can use this method to do your day makeup makeup for your photo shoot video shoots if you want to look beautiful this makeup tutorial is for you if you want to seek for attention you know this makeup is for you so this is sneaky makeup pattern let's go together guys first i'm using spoolie to brush my eyebrows to make it arrange well this is my spoolie so after brushing i use my eyeliner to draw my eyebrows and here i'm going to make use of two colors black and brown so as you are watching you see the way i applied the both colors on my eyebrows okay the reason for that is to make it look natural so as you watch you will see the way i use the two colors of eyebrows on my brows i'm using the spoolie to brush it to arrange it well so that i'll be able to draw well okay before drawing your eyebrows you consider if you want it to be bold or slim okay you also consider the shape you want if you want it straight you want your eyebrow to be upward in shape you want the soft arc the medium arc high arc round round arc or s shape eyebrow shape okay because it's good you know what you want before you start drawing you don't just take eyeliner and start drawing all over your face okay it's very good you know that so like i said i'm making use of two eyeliners the brown and the black eyeliner so for me to draw my eyeliner please watch me closely because you can see i am demonstrating a lot so this is it my measurement i measure my nose first then i create a mark at the beginning of my eyebrows that is where i'll start this helps me to get the real shape of my natural eyebrows i don't want to go deeper or make the eyebrows i'm drawing to come forward to spoil the shape of my face based on what i want to achieve okay so that line helps me to get my real face so watch me do the drawing and this is the process i'm making use of the brown eyeliner first to do the first step of my drawing okay i've done the down then the up i'm doing it with the same brown eyeliner to make it give me that natural look then after the drawing i also use this brown you can see how light it is it makes it look very light and it's not that thick black eye pencil all over the face okay i use this brown to also feel like you can see i'm feeling it upwards i'm moving my hand upwards to feel the ones i've done already so you see it's looking natural not that black stain all over so this gives me that natural look as i do it i use pull it to brush it to to make it to be light now this is the black eyeliner okay i'm going to use the black eyeliner now to 
do the ending part of the eyebrows i'm using the black one to fill it okay it make it to be darker and also brings out the shape very well it's darker so you, if you sight somebody from afar you can see the shape of their eyebrows but that brown one make give you that natural look at the beginning okay you can see how it's looking already the black one then i'll just use the spoolie to brush it again but not to scatter everything just make it light okay when i'm done with drawing i bring out my brushes makeup brushes are in different shapes size and they all have what they do as to do your makeup so i have these brushes i use to start my makeup is for my personal makeup use so you watch me as i use each of them and i know as you watch me to you make use of your own okay you know the right brush to use to apply in each stage of your makeup so now i want to use concealer to bring out the good shape of this my eyebrows because it might not give you that perfect look here is my concealer and foundation for me to arrange the eye pencil i drew very well this is the foundation i'm using here is zikel product and that is what i'm going to use at the top of my brows then the concealer i'll use it at the down part so all you have to do now is to keep watching me so that you learn my own pattern of makeup okay this is the concealer brush i'm going to use now so any mistake i made in the drawing i'm going to use this concealer and correct it so it serves as corrector also any mistake you make in your drawing you can use your concealer brush and correct it to make sure the lines are straight and the curves are well highlighted the shape is given what you want it to give okay so go ahead watch and learn i was so excited as i wanted to make this video i like teaching a lot so <laughs> i was carried away that i forgot to clean my face so i have to go ahead with my makeup yeah you can see the downside i'm trying to spread the concealer with the concealer brush all over my eyes it can also serve as a base for my eyeshadow yes but in all you have to make it look neat so i'm trying to do it carefully not to spread all over my face but let it just end up at the eye why I'm using my hand to tap it to make it blend to the skin also and be smooth. So this is the downside now. You can see how bright the concealer is. Now because I'm using the same concealer brush, I'm using wipes to clean the concealer off so that I can use the same brush to do the upside because I am using foundation, okay, to line the upside of the eyebrows. I'm using the same foundation I will use on my face to do the upside. Just let it have that natural look and let the shape look neat. Okay? It also helps when I'm blending the foundation, everything will blend well. So the major thing to achieve here now is to make sure that the curves are looking neat and is giving what it's supposed to give it's really very important to get this line straight so you don't have to rush this at this point you just have to be careful instead of going fast and spoil everything you just take it bit by bit step by step just move your hand gradually till you get the shape you desire okay that is it you see how the curve is it's just a simple soft curve then you just make sure everything is well arranged anywhere you notice any mistake you can correct it at this point with your brush tap your brush into the concealer and correct anything that needs to be corrected the upside you try to use your foundation also that is it 
the types of eyebrows I mentioned earlier, I also showed the picture on the screen here. If you can identify the type of eyebrow that I drew now, let me know in the comment section, okay? So at this point, I'm done with this small concealer brush. This is the brush I'm going to use now to smoothen and blend this foundation into my skin and make hair look neat. It helps you to also guide the foundation, let your face look neat. You don't just allow your foundation to be all over your face, making your face look dirty. So at the same time as you're doing your makeup, you try to guide it, okay? You can see how moderate my face is and the eyebrow is really giving me what I want, okay? It's fine, right? So this pulley here now, trying to brush that beginning side, to make it look light and look natural okay i always brush upwards you can see the eyebrow is fine check the both sides of my eyebrow this one i've not done and this side i've done you can see there is a great difference on the face right and now i did the second one off camera you can see the work is progressing so i've made use of two brushes here now i'm going to introduce the third one and i hope you are learning if you have these brushes in your house and you've not been using them the right way this is an opportunity for you to know how to use them now so the third one here i want to set the concealer that i used to do the eyebrows so that it will not move it's just to put it in place okay so i'm using the highlighter now to run it all around where i applied my concealer under the eyebrows okay so to do this you have to use the lighter shade because you want to highlight okay this is the lighter shade now i'm using it to run it under the eyebrows okay that's what i'm doing you put it in place so that it will not move let it not be greasy and shift okay and you can see the shape of the eyebrow is just given. I want to do the second side at the same time now. You can really practice this. You can see it's not hard. You can practice it. You can use any makeup product around you to do this so you perfect it. So you can see each brush is doing their work. I'm done with this now. So the next brush here will do another work. So let's keep going together, guys. So you can see the next brush I brought out. That is what I use for my contour. So I'm using a darker shade now. So you can see that brown brush has its own work is doing, okay? Yes. And I'm using this um, contour to do the next step. And I'm using it also as my base. It serves as my base now my eye makeup I'm using this contour as my base you can see it's giving me that natural color again you see for me to do any nude makeup now I can use this as my base before I apply any other eyeshadow I can try to lose only like this and this is also helping to pop the eye to look more beautiful and bring back your natural beauty mostly when you are stressed up okay you can see even without eyeshadow now the face is just looking smooth and beautiful so you can see how the face is given already i'm bringing the next brush guys so here is my eyeshadow la poche eyeshadow then look at the eye, the brush i'm going to use now I'm making use of black yes you can see my base so I'm using black now to run it down this is the color I want to make use of today so you can see the brush I'm using also I don't just miss brushes anyhow each one I use for each color and it helps me to identify them each time I want to do my makeup so this is it black color on the eyes 
so this eyeshadow you can call it smoky eyes smoky eyes so in order to make the video not to be too long i try to do some parts off camera okay just to save our time i now want to apply my face primer so it's to run it around the face to help the makeup stay all day to put it in place so after that i'm applying my foundation now so this is how i apply my foundation first i try to identify the one that matches my face let it not be too dark or too bright so i rub it on my face then use the beauty blender this foam here i call it beauty blender to blend it around the face to blend it into the skin very well you can see me tapping it all over my face this is the foundation now you can see how it's covering the face already covering all those patches all over my face and the stress is disappearing gradually so guys this is nigeria makeup you can see how the face is coming up looking younger now so this is my concealer that i used to highlight my face i apply it on my nose my under eyes the both sides of the under eye i apply it on the jaw and on my forehead so it has to cover all the discoloration on the face and also to cover all the stress like it brings back my face my young face so i i don't like doing makeup without this concealer so after applying it like this next thing is i blend it so each process you will see it in the video here this is the blender I use it's not the same blender I use for my foundation I use two different blenders in my makeup this is the one I use to blend the foundation the sorry the concealer when I'm highlighting why the first one is one I use to blend the makeup foundation to cover all my face okay when blending you try to blend it to be smooth that's what i'm doing that's why i keep tapping it like this to make sure that it is smooth and i don't spread it all over my face is the under eye that i position it on top of my nose so this is it as i try to do the blending then so here i'm trying to set the highlighted parts set it so that the, found the concealer will be steady it will not move the under eye the jaw the forehead you can see how bright those places are looking just to make the face to look sharp and give you that african queen look okay if you are passing through stress if you are a farmer or you are the type that don't do makeup always this type of makeup is for you okay once in a while you just give yourself that look okay yes you can see my face has changed already it's not giving that stressful look again okay okay i'm coming up with another brush again now this is the one i used to apply my lipstick okay this is my lipstick brush and i have different lip stains here I have different lip stains, different colors here. So now I'm going to look at which one do I use. When you're doing makeup, you also consider the clothes you're going to put on, the colors of the day before you know what to apply. So I'm going to make use of this pink. I'm going for pink lips. So I'm not just pouring all the colors i'm taking it gradually with this brush so that it will be smooth and look neat okay so this is the color for my day watch me you can make use of your own color based on your dressing code or the color of the dress you're putting on mine now i want to do 
photo shoot and i want something not too loud but natural yes so you can see what i came up with i have black on top and these pink leaves so not too loud not too odd or dull i didn't want something boring so that is what i got in my lips and the next brush here is for my bronzer to highlight my nose so i have this bronzer i use the one at the middle is what i'm going to make use of something not too shouting or too sharp but let it be given okay so see the way i position my hand this is where i apply my nose bronzer to highlight my nose i hope you are learning yes this is just how i put it in my nose i don't spread it all over okay then after that the brown brush i used to contour my eye this is what i'm going to use also now to contour my nose with the darker shade of the powder you watch you see the way i position my hand i'm drawing it from my the top of my eye or under the eyebrows to draw it down gradually following the shape of my nose to contour this helps me to have that pointed nose look okay you see the way i'm going down this same thing i'm doing here i'll have to do it the both sides of my nose okay as i draw it down i do it in the other side of the nose to make that nose look have that pointed shape okay i'm trying to do and after this you just blend it very well so that that brown powder will not be all over your face or nose you make sure you blend well each stage you blend well i'm blending it now into the eyeshadow to make the base balance well okay yeah so after that i apply the same bronzer on the highlighted parts my under eye the forehead and the jaw then put my blush a little then you can see the face is set this is my makeup spray and after all the makeup i spray it to make sure everything misses well and fits my skin so this is actually the final look of this makeup is a no lashes makeup i did not fix eyelashes i had to put on my gorgeous wig you can see how my face has transformed you see the before and after makeup look the lady is looking like a queen already